Hey guys, Amy here with the Del Rio Group. You know what time it is. It's time for our market update for San Joaquin County for January. Let's get right to it, starting with inventory. Here we're looking at inventory, the available homes on the market continuing to drop. We're seeing a, a transactional recession that we touched on in the end of year recap still happening. We did see rates dip down again. Remember, sales or closed transactions are a lagging indicator. So anybody that's locked in their rate 30 to 45 days ago becomes clothing, closings this month. So you'll start to see that number surge up. Pending sales are up. You can see the red pending line surge up on transactions. So I'm expecting closings to be much higher next month. Right now, we're seeing a lot more activity in the market. When it comes down to days on the market, we're currently sitting at 59 days, which is slightly higher than last month. So again, buyers have a little bit more time to select properties at certain price points. Keep in mind, certain price points are moving a lot quicker with the buyer activity that we're having today. Rates going down from 7% to 6% this month, we're starting to see a surge of activity. Now that we don't have a ton of inventory, so it's something that will require patience from the buyer if the right property doesn't pop up. But at the same time, if it's under the lower part of the median price point or it's priced appropriately in good condition and a good location, you're probably going to have to move quickly to lock it in because we're seeing an increase in activity there. Moving on to the median price point. You'll see we're up 2.7% within the first 30 days of the year, but we're down 1% in the last 12 months and 12% from the peak in May. Now remember what we talked about in previous updates. Payments is price versus terms. The buyers that bought 12% higher compared to the price point right now have a lower mortgage than the buyers today. So over a 30 year period, they're going to pay a lot less. And that is the demand destruction that we've been talking about. Now that the rate is coming back down, we're seeing a surge of activity. A lot of buyers have been waiting till the beginning of the year for their New Year's resolutions. So they're like, let's go buy a house, which then put more pressure on the fact that the cost of housing is going up. Rents are going up because of the inventory struggles and because of the affordability destruction. Equity for the average homeowner in the U.S. today is increasing. It's at 58 percent. And the surge of prices and the restructuring of debt has caused a lot of equity. As you can see, equity increasing year over year, 2022, it's the highest that it's been. So it's safe to say the U.S. housing market in general is fairly healthy other than the lack of inventory and the lack of housing for the demand that we're seeing in the new household formations. As for the absorption rate, we haven't broken that ceiling of 3.2 months of inventory. We've come pretty close to it, currently sitting at three months, but we have not quite broken it. We'll see what happens throughout the year. Remember, a normal market is four to six months of inventory. Let's look at that for a moment. With the number of transactions surging up and the inventory dropping down, I have a feeling that the next month we might see the number come back down. I've also included other important slides. Again, 58% of equity is what we talked about earlier, which is a healthy state in the U.S. market. Recession coming. This is something we must look at. The recession is coming. There's credit card debt. You could see after COVID, we've seen an increase in credit card spending. Natural revolving debt is getting higher and higher. Personal savings rates are also getting much lower. You combine that with a potential job loss and a recession, and that could sting a lot of current homeowners. Now, the good thing is that they have the ability to sell because with the 58% equity, they have options compared to what it was at the beginning of the 2008 recession, where they had less than 19% equity. But homeowners right now are sitting with great terms and they're sitting with a lot of equity and their options with renting aren't anything better than the payments they have right now. Home price moderations. Over the last couple of years, you could see the prices have gone up consistently. Buyers, this is what we mean when we say build your wealth in real estate. Now you're seeing a slight pullback here. Not really the recession, crash, or correction, but again, we're seeing a surge of activity. So we'll see if that continues down more or if we're finding a resistance and you're going to bounce back or at least stabilize and become a little bit flatter. Shelter cost is 39% of core CPI, consumer price index numbers. Another thing that we must look at, cost of living, is a big deal. Shelter costs on the monthly mortgage obligation increased by 17%. That affects the CPI number. Rents have been going up as well. There's not a lot of housing out there. We also, this is also affecting the CPI numbers. It's come down all the way across the board with food, gas, clothing, things like that. But we're going to wait to see what that tells us and whether we're going to go into a full out recession and what that does to the housing market. But that's a wrap for our January update. I hope you found this information helpful. 
Please feel free to share this and spread the word with anyone that you think this would be a beneficial video uh, for your friends, family, coworkers. And if you have any questions regarding how much your home is worth in today's market, or if you're a buyer, future buyer, and would like to know more about the buying process and or talking winning offer strategies, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to help you. Have a great day.